Hey, thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. Well, I was trying to decide what to do, what to do, what to do. So, I'm going back to my trusty favorite, and we're gonna do a little resin. So let me tell you what we're gonna need to have in place first. You're going to want, definitely want, some rubber or plastic gloves. You are going to need little measuring cups for your resin, and you're gonna need mixing cups for your paint and resin. Should the odor, a lot of these are low odor, but have you a little respirator or a little protector here. And should you need it, your eye protection. I have got some paint. I have several colors of paint. And I have these uh, little mica fragments that we're going to use in the project today. I'm gonna to be using this Envirotex Light uh, Pour On High Gloss uh, resin. It is a mix of one-to-one -one ratio. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, and of course you need something to put it on. So I have my 12 by 12 canvas. So let me get my resin mixed and get set up and we'll get started. Excuse me, I have all my resin uh, mixed and let it, let it settle, let the bubbles come to the top. As you can see, maybe hopefully you can see there's little bubbles in there. The bubbles have come to the surface and I'm just gonna scrape some of them off because we don't want bubbles. Now I've got these three paints and I want you to see, it's a, uh, uh, there's just a teeny tiny bit of paint in here. Now I may not have enough of each of these colors, but we're gonna kinda do this as we go to see what's gonna go where. And I'm gonna very gently, 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 gently mix this. Well, gently because I should have put it in a bigger cup, clearly, but this is all good. Now it's easier to add to than take away, folks. So again, you are tinting, and as you can see, it's starting, it, it's really starting to blend very nicely. Um, the, the thing is, if you add too much paint, if you, you're not adding, resin to your paint, you're tinting your resin. Because if you put too much paint, what you will get is goo. And you won't be happy with how your project works. So just start off with the very small amounts. If it's not enough or rich enough color, you can always add a little more. But again, I think this was like two squirts. See how that starts to just blend so nicely. I want it very blended. If you don't get it blended, you're you're up to have some little flaws. Also, I didn't mention. Uh, I don't know why, but keep your baby wipes handy. Uh, if you get a little resin on your hand or on something else, um, the surface, it's way easier to wipe it off immediately with a baby wipe. Once it cures, unless it is on uh, in a silicone mold or some sort of plastic, you're not getting it out. Be sure and read uh, your resin instructions. Each of them are different. This one, uh, and I pulled my instructions out. It's been a while since I used this one. Uh, it is a you know one to one part ratio. Oh, look how pretty, perfect. Okay. So I've elevated also my project because your resin is gonna flow over the edges a bit. And I want, using these little popsicle sticks as stir sticks. Now I have this resin left and I have that, I'll show you for a reason or what we're gonna try. You know, resin, it's gonna flow, it's gonna do its thing, and I don't know, I absolutely, as you know, if you've watched any of my other resin videos, I love working, I love resin. I like the look of it, I like what it does. 
Anyway, so let's get started. I, I don't know, I chose these three colors. I just thought these looked pretty, pretty colors. And then we're gonna add some of these mica flakes. See if we get, what I'm hoping for is to get kind of a vein of the flakes coming down through here. So I'm just gonna start, well, I guess I'm gonna start there. Now, you can, you can use uh, your popsicle stick, you can use a brush, which I have a, only a wet one, but we'll, that's okay. This looks like it needed just a snippet more blending. I like using this neutral, a neutralish background, or let's see. I think I'm gonna get my brush, although that's kind of working pretty good there. Resin is self-leveling. You wanna have your project on as level a surface just as level as you can get it. Uh, I've, as I've mentioned before, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I work in my garage, which I'm about to suffocate now because it's really, really, really hot in here. Um, I think I am gonna get a brush to go down through this middle. Now, I did get one of these uh, little silicone brushes. It's made by, this one's made by Art Basics. I used it, I actually wasn't as happy with the, I just wasn't as happy with it, I'll let us just say. So I'm gonna smooth this on with this little foam brush. I was trying to save, you know, I thought, well, let's just, you know, I can, you know, once it hardens, you, t you just pop that off because it's on, on the silk on there and uh, save on brushes. But uh, like I said, I did not really care for the look of it. Now I know this isn't looking like much at all right now but we're gonna do a few more things to it, so never fear. I'm not noticing any odor with this. Now, I understand, you know, a lot of you are you know, more sensitive to different smells. Um, so just be, be aware of what, uh, if you need to wear, you know, a protective covering, but you definitely, definitely want your gloves. You do not want resin. You're not gonna, don't use, <laughs> don't use your fingers to spread resin. Now, like I said, I may have mixed a little conservatively there, but that's okay because my resin is I've still got a little work time left. I'm gonna manipulate this a bit, just like we would on a dirty pour. Um, another thing to keep in mind, uh, it is best to use a ventilated area. I just can't, uh, I can't video in a well-ventilated area at this moment. Um, the warmer the temperatures are, the quicker your resin will start to cure. So you, you normally, it, it, and again, this is something else. Different ones have different, different curing, um, times or you know work time that you have to work with it um so you know you do need to kind of if it's warm you do want to work as quickly and you know as you can use a good thick strong you know plastic you know what these come with a lot of the resin kits don't use a real flimsy 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 plastic container 
to mix your resin in. Resin heats up as it start, you know, as once you mix the two parts together, it heats up. And I, I actually uh, saw one started <laughs> her started smoking so it's not something to just it's not something to play with you know it's not I don't want to be scary with it by any means because I love working with resin but it's just don't uh, just follow the instructions and do use caution as with most things that we're working with um, you know you don't want your kids you know to be around the, a resin project you don't want your cat or your dog. I really don't want the fly that I saw fly in while I go. I had the garage door open. Well, now it's closed and I saw a fly come in. And that is, if he ends up in here, I won't be happy with that. <laughs> but I guess there's, we'll deal with that at the time, huh? Now that's what I didn't want to happen. I didn't really want it to run off down into there. So I'm gonna see if I can scooch and maneuver it. Again, resin is self-leveling and we can maneuver a little if we need to. Um, those will fill in. Now I find these colors pretty interesting. I may mess it up trying to put the mica powders in, but we're going to try it anyway. Maybe. I don't know. I, I tell you what, I'm really liking how that the brown is just sort of gently swept over into that green. That's pretty cool looking to me. Really, I'm gonna have to use this because I didn't uh, grab two brushes, and I, I don't want to. I don't want to make anybody wait. You can see. I don't. I mean, you may. Well, that's a big bubble. You most likely can see that big bubble. We're gonna pop those. There's the different ways of popping the bubbles. I'm telling you, it's so hot in here right now, I almost need a, an assistant to wipe my forehead. <laughs> hey, I could call the hubby out. Wouldn't he love that? All right, I didn't mix any more of the green, did I? So what's that? Let's do a little bit more of that. Pretty green. Oh, and I, that's not the container I need. I don't know, this is called a uh, foliage green. I think it's a really pretty, pretty green. I can feel the heat in this cup, <laughs> but like I said, that's what it does. So you want a good, sturdy plastic to do your mixing in. Yeah, this one's gotten, and once you, you know, some stir in it, it was pretty warm. And it's gonna start to cure again a little faster than normal because it is nice and warm in here. I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna try something. Why not? We're learning, right? Uh, if I can get my tooth my toothpicks, my popsicle sticks out. I don't know, just wanted to give it a little bit, oops, some shape. And, okay, I don't want that to stay just like that. Okay, I'm gonna just see if I can blend this in pretty good here. I love this color, it's so pretty, so pretty. I 
I think that we're seeing that color difference because uh, we're starting to, it's starting to set up a little bit. That's kind of interesting though, isn't it? I'm gonna skip the, I know I said, I'll try this next time, but I know I said I was gonna put those mica um, little flakes in here, but I, I think we will, let's save that for next time. I'll give that a try maybe uh, on my next video here. I'm trying to get my edges completed. Okay, I still have a lot of resin though, so let's make sure that we can see if we can get it to flow on down here off the sides. Because I like them to be covered as well. We still looks like we got a little bit of work time left in that one. The last time I thought that I was going to save uh, resin and, you know, after I did the project, I was going to zip over and huh, pour some earrings. My resin had already started setting up. So that's what I'm telling you. If you're in a warm spot here, it's going to start curing, which is good in one way uh, because, you know, you don't have to... I can probably pick this up and move it after about, well, with the weather, probably about eight hours. Now, it, it, resin takes, you know, 24 to 48 hours to fully cure, but to be able to pick it up and and um, move it to another another spot to finish curing. do one other little thing and see what we can do. I don't want to move this out. I don't want to move it too much. You can see, you see it moving. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's moving a little bit there. Whoops. I want to find me some sturdier, sturdier. Now I'm going to come back and get these little edges. But for now, I want to show you. Um, I do not wish to neglect bubbles. I don't have a toothpick handy, but one other thing you can do with bubbles, if you have a toothpick, see, that's just going to pop, pop, pop those. Um, there's also one of my favorite things is eat a bubble. And if hopefully you can see right there, we're gonna spray, you can watch them just dissipate. Dissipate, that's pretty cool. And of course you can use your torch. If you don't have a torch, and I'll be honest, I don't recommend starting off with one unless you're very comfortable with it already. Just, you know, get this stuff, use a toothpick. This is this this stuff actually works really good. Really good. I'm, I, I like it. Let's see, where can I? Whoop, that's the green one. Uh, I just, see, I just don't like this, just as a coat. I don't like the way it coats, but okay. But I do need to do a little more. See, it's getting pretty thick now. So we're about to be at the end of this little segment here. I will have come back and uh, get the edges. And um, get my, my little baby wipe. Okay, guys, I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, I like the color combination myself. I promise next time we will use the little mica flex because um, I really have been wanting to try that. So we're going to do that next time. So, hey, check back. <laughs> Thanks, guys.